Hello, my name's Cass, this is Patrick. We are the co-founders of Canteen, along with Dom, and we'd like to introduce our new cookery book, Great British Food, which is out now, and we'll be preparing a recipe from that. OK, we're going to make a chicken and mushroom pie. OK, for this pie we'll need some chicken thigh meat, with some celery, some onion, some leeks, mushrooms, tarragon and garlic to flavour it, a little bit of dried porcini, um, some white wine, chicken stock, double cream and a little bit of mustard plus some flour and butter to thicken. Okay, so for the first part of making the chicken and mushroom pie heat up a nice large heavy bottom pan and go the onions and the celery. And we're going to cook those just until they're nice and soft. We don't want any colour with this. So once the celery and the onions are sweated, they're nice and soft, we are going to add chopped garlic, the chicken thigh meat. You can see we've left this quite chunky. Uh, that's so by the time it's cooked, it doesn't break up into small pieces. We need to season that with some salt, pepper, Let's okay, cook that for another minute or so. And then we're going to put the liquid into that. So we've got the white wine, it's chicken stock, and about a tablespoon of dried chopped seps. You want to try and find uh, broken chopped seps for this, and then you just add those into there. Just give it a really good mushroomy flavour. I'm just going to bring that to the boil, place the lid on it, simmer it for approximately half an hour until the chicken is just cooked but not falling apart. Okay, once the chicken is cooked, what we're going to do is we're going to strain off the liquid. And then we just need to make the sauce. The butter in the pan. We melt that butter. We're going to make a roux with the flour. We're going to use that to thicken up the liquid that the chicken has been cooking in. The flour in next. And what we need to do is just need to just in the cooking liquid. And into that we're going to put double cream. Tarragon, tablespoonful of Dijon mustard. And I'm just going to mix everything back into there. So that's the cooked chicken meat. Mushrooms. And the leeks. And then we're just going to put all that into a bowl and allow that to cool before we assemble the pie. To assemble the pie, this is the cooled uh, chicken and mushroom mix. We've got our pie case which we have uh, brushed with butter, lined with puff pastry. We're using a little pie lifter here that's a blackbird. That's just going to keep the pastry off the top. Okay, so we get all that filling into there. Let's just brush around the edges just with a little bit of beaten egg. And then we'll lay the lid on. There's another layer of puff pastry. And then what you want to do is just to gently squeeze these edges together to trim off that pastry there. And then we just need to crimp the edge. Uh, you can use your fingers or you can use a fork if you prefer. It's good to get a little bit of flour on your fingertips first. I brush that with the remainder of the beaten egg. Bake that in the oven, 175 degrees, for about 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, once you've uh, brushed it with a beaten egg, you just need to remember to make a little hole just to uh, let the blackbird dig his head out. There you go. 
Now that needs to go in the oven. 35 to 40 minutes until it's nice golden brown. Now we have a chicken and mushroom pie.